Hello Flyers and welcome back to the channel. GPS acquired is what you'll hear when you've successfully set up the Horizon Hobby Spectrum Sky Remote ID to your radio. This video will show you how to set up the Sky ID to a Spectrum GX8 Gen 2 radio. Here are some of the features of the Sky ID module. It is FCC certified, it supports telemetry as we'll get to, and it weighs in at only 14 grams. It only requires this one power cable to operate and there are no monthly charges or other hidden fees. And as you probably know, you'll only need the remote ID when you're not flying in an FAA recognized identification area, also known as a FRIA. Finally, you only need to buy one remote ID. It can be moved from one plane to another. In the box, you're going to get the module, the instructions, five different optional cables to power the module, and a piece of double-sided sticky tape. I'll be using the standard servo connection in my model, but you can use one of the other four options to power your module, including a separate battery. The instructions are rather simple. They do include a QR code, which if you scan it with your phone, will take you directly to the FAA site where you can register your module. This is the page that it takes you to. The first thing you're going to do is to log in in the upper right. You have likely already created an FAA account in order to obtain your FAA number. The first thing you're going to see is this yellow notification. It just states that as of March of 2024, the FAA will begin enforcing the regulations. After you log in, you're going to be clicking this link at the bottom that says FAA Drone Zone Services. On the next page, you're going to click the link that says Launch Drone Owners and Pilot Dashboard. The next page shows your registration number, your name, address, the original date you registered with the FAA, and your current expiration date. At this point, you're going to click Manage Device Inventory. On this page, you're going to click Add Device. On this page, you need to fill in the boxes. The manufacturer, in this case, is Spectrum. The model, as is stated in the instructions and as I've written here. And then the serial number, which you can find on the side of your module. Please note that if you type it in wrong, it will know and it'll say error. Apparently, all these serial numbers have been registered with the FAA. Uh, sometimes the letter zero and the number zero get a little confusing. The next screen you should see says a device has been added to your inventory. If you do end up buying more than one module, then just repeat. There are other remote ID choices with prices that are close and vary a little bit. I chose Spectrum because I fly Spectrum and the GPS module uh, connects seamlessly to the radio and does add telemetry functionality such as ground speed. Once you've registered your module with the FAA, the next step is to attach the module to your receiver. In my case, I'm using the standard servo connection and using an open channel on the receiver, in this case, the bind port. The next step is to take your aircraft outside with a clear view of the sky and power on the system by connecting your battery. The blinking means the module is searching for satellites. The voltage readout is not part of the remote ID module, but is a separate telemetry function from the receiver to the balance lead that's available on some spectrum receivers. A solid red light means you're connected. The next step is to go to your radio and scroll down to the telemetry tab. Double click on auto config if you haven't done so previously, and then scroll down to the telemetry option. Once in the telemetry option, you want to scroll the wheel down and click on an empty space and then choose GPS and then repeat again and choose airspeed. In that telemetry tab, if you double click on GPS, this is the functionality you'll see, including latitude and longitude. If you double click on the airspeed, this is the functionality you'll see. 
Another option is to scroll down, for example, in airspeed, and at the bottom you'll see status reports. You can change this to give you callouts every so many seconds while you're flying. Overall, I think the Spectrum Sky ID module is the best option for those using Spectrum receivers and radios already. It integrates quickly and seamlessly with the Spectrum hardware and is very easy to install. Although I fly at mostly free approved fields, uh, occasionally I do fly in a location where I don't have um, the FAA approval. You want to avoid any kind of big FAA fines in case someone starts to go crazy and report you. And as usual, thanks for watching and please consider subscribing. It does help support the channel.